What's up everyone, it's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I'm going to be doing a reaction review to the new Ted Bundy movie, Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil, and Vile. Yes, I had to look at that because I cannot for the life of me get that name right if I'm not reading it. So, without further ado, let's watch this trailer. Alright everyone, I got my Hannibal Lecter t-shirt on, I am ready to watch this, and I've been waiting for this for a long time, they've announced like a few years ago that they were doing this movie, and I've been waiting patiently for the trailer, so let's watch this. And I really don't like talking too much during these, but I've noticed that people actually enjoy my commentary, so I'm going to try to talk more as I watch this, so let's do this. Alright, I'm so ready. Uh. Okay, this is the girlfriend that doesn't die. What is it about this guy? Will I feel this love? You know, I like her dad, but I just, I, I'm not a fan of her. The bug. Oh, is it gonna like, so is it not gonna show him murdering? Okay, so is it not going to show him killing and, like, just captured? Ooh. Okay, well, that... Okay, this this doesn't look scary. <laughs> I was expecting... Oh, hey! Oh, it's what's-his-face. Oh, my God, I can't... I can never remember the actor's name. Okay, this this looks like a Zac Efron movie. This doesn't look scary at all. I get it that Ted Bundy was not like he was a very uh, charismatic guy. Okay, now so one part. Okay. This this trailer did not does not make me want to see this movie, but because I know what it's going to be about, I'm going to see it. But what the hell? Well, unfortunately, that trailer didn't make me excited about this movie. It made it seem like it's going to be a, I, I wouldn't say rom-com, but like horror rom-com between Ted Bundy and his girlfriend, but okay. I was expecting, when I heard about this movie, something along the lines of Silence of the Lambs or, you know, Red Dragon and that suspense over them having to go after the serial killer and, you know, the their suspect is this guy that, you know, you look at him and you wouldn't think he's a serial killer. He's college educated, he's charming, he's handsome, he's charismatic, and everyone that knew him was like, no, there's no way he could be a serial killer. Ted's the nicest guy ever. And I've been watching that documentary uh, series that's on Netflix right now, and that's what everyone said. He had all of these people that were like, there's no way Ted could have done that. Except for a couple people that you know, knew him in his childhood, and, you know, this one old lady that said, oh, no, like, you knew something was off with Ted, but, you know, you didn't expect anything like that, and so when I heard Zac Efron was doing this movie, I was like, okay, you know, he he got famous from High School Musical. I remember when all those were coming out. I watched all of them. Yeah, and I'm not too proud of that now, but, you know, part of my childhood is just, what are you going to do? So I thought when he, I was like, wow, Zac Efron's going to play Ted Bundy? He's he's really going to try to be a serious actor. He's not just going to do, you know, these, you know, fun, silly movies, these comedy movies anymore. He's going to try to do something serious. Like, maybe he's going to try to get an Oscar or something. Maybe, you know, so he's not just typecasted anymore. Maybe he's going to go to that next level. And Silence of the Lambs is my favorite movie aside from, you know, Star Wars and outside of the science fiction genre, Silence of the Lambs has always been my favorite movie and it's because Hannibal Lecter is one of the scariest villains and I love the books and it's one of those things that when I was learning about how to do character design, I would always look at real life people and that's what I learned also was that all the scariest villains in movies and books and comic books or I mean not the superhero ones but in you know the horror comics that came out and that caused that whole comic scare scare Ugh. anyway <laughs> 
they're all based on real life people like Buffalo Bill, uh, Norman Bates, uh, the Leatherface. They're all based off of Ed Gein. And if you look into that guy, it's like, oh, that's like, that's horrifying that people actually go through these, you know, transformations in their lives that make them into those, you know, horrific killers. And I found that insanely interesting when I was learning about, you know, some of my favorite authors or directors talked about how they got their inspiration for their characters from real life. And that's what's so scary about it is that this actually happened. And when you look at all of the details that they put into those characters, it's horrifying. And so with this movie, I thought it was going to be something more, but just Maybe I'm just thrown off by the music. Maybe they're just not showing the scary scenes yet because they haven't filmed them. But this trailer just kind of put me off. I'm 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 gonna go see it because me and my friends have been you know waiting for years to go see this movie. But I don't know. Just I'm hoping for the best. Like hopefully they just haven't shot these scenes and hopefully it will be one of those you know dramatic, you know, life-altering roles for Zac Efron, but I don't know. From that trailer, I'm not too optimistic about it. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know, as my notifications go off, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to, you know, seeing what everyone thinks about this movie or any uh, predictions anyone has and I do read every single comment so I'm looking forward to what you guys have to say also if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you click that little bell so you get notifications when I put new videos out or when I do live streams because I do do those from time to time that being said everyone have a great rest of your day don't get killed by a serial killer and may the force be with you because we are really going to need it.